Senor Briscoe, it's good to see you again. Thank you, Captain. Although, to be honest, I didn't expect you to return after hearing about the fire at your house. Once we managed to put out the fire, the damage was superficial. I've already arranged the repairs, but the reason I'm here is Elizabeth. She threw me out. <laughs> She's mad at you for not telling her about the quest, the danger she was in, the fire. She didn't care about any of those things. But if I don't find her jewelry, she'll never allow me in the house again. But it's your house. Morgane. The ways of married couples are complex and mysterious. <laughs> I wonder what would happen if I orientated to match up the known landmarks. That's it! Look! Tanner Island is just there! Well done, Morgan. Can we set sail for there immediately? Of course! Then I shall rest in my cabin until we arrive. The excitement of today has exhausted me. Papa? Yes, Morgan. Papa, you must come with me to the old house. Now you're taunting me. Do you not care about your father's feelings? Of course! That's exactly why it's important for you to come. You handled that well, Morgane. This is the restroom. It can be hell when you're the only woman on board. Where do you want to go? Let's sail away. We shall sail to Tanner Island immediately. Excuse me, Captain Morgan. I shall join you in your trip ashore. You think that's wise? An island named after Bucklebury Tanner? I'll not miss this for anything. We need to find our way to the cliff top first. Senor Brisco, can you help me reach this plank? Thank you, Senor. My pleasure. I just hope a soggy piece of wood was worth it. I can pull it free. There's something in here. I wonder how long that anchor has been here. Feels like it's glued to the rock. It must be the rust. Where do you want to go? Diego? Yes? There's an anchor I need your help with. This is why you shouldn't be captain. You need some muscle. A captain needs brains. A good valuable crew is all the muscle that's needed. <laughs> Very well. I'll help you.
no. I hope he's all right. I must bring him round. Wow, that's heavy. Wake up, Diego. <laughs> that didn't work. Fire! The ship's burning! Cell phone member! What? Captain's on the bridge! Oh, prisoner incorrect, sir! Pity I don't have more time to train him while he's like this. Diego, wake up, please. Huh. The gently approach doesn't work. I've wanted to do this for a long time. <laughs> Ow, that hurt. He has a face like a marble, but not so pretty. Pretty heavy, but I should be able to fire the grappling hook further than I can throw it. A perfect shot! It worked first time. Excuse me, hello? Mm. Yeah. What? Hello, I'm Morgane Castillo, and this is Thomas Frisco. Great. It's good of you to drop by. I hope you don't mind if I don't get up. We are sorry to disturb you. It's okay. My meditation can wait until later. Do you always snore when you meditate? Ah, that wasn't snoring. It was my meditation chant. Can you tell me who you are? I'm Buck, of course. Uh, do you have a last name? Mm, no, I'm just called Buck. Have you lived here long? I've been here all my life. It's so peaceful, I never wanted to leave. Do you know a man called Buckleberry Tanner? Sure do. That was my dad. He was a great man and madly in love with my mother. Did he name the island after himself? Yep. Mother thought it was funny and teased him about it. Is your mother still alive? No, she died when I was young. Dad stayed here until I was old enough to look after myself. Do you know anything about the Golden Turtle? Of course I do. It's true then that your father discovered its whereabouts. <laughs> sure did. He was a great explorer. Would you say it's difficult to find? Yes. When do you want me to say it? What? When should I say, it's difficult to find? Oh, everyone's a comedian. I don't suppose you know Uncle Eduardo. Yes. How is he? I haven't seen him since Dad was last year. They used to travel everywhere together. Really? Oh, yeah. They were almost inseparable. We found a map that pointed to this island. We think it's connected to the Golden Turtle. Hmm, I don't see how. Perhaps your father left something here on the island. He never left anything here. Well, apart from the monument to my mother. Could we see it? If you can get over there, it's on one of the other island columns. This lap looks like a gravy boat with a wick stuck into it. There's no oil in it. This is a strange contraption. I wonder what it does.
This looks like the remains of a campfire. What's this? It used to be the handle of the bucket, but I straightened it when the bucket rotted. I use it to scratch my feet while I'm lying in my hammock. Laziness is the mother of invention. You can borrow it if you like. Thanks. That's fixed the gap in the bridge. That was harder work than it should have been. I hope Buck appreciates that I fixed his bridge. I'm going to wait here. Seagulls are so noisy, they're getting on my nerves. I hope the sound scares them away. <laughs> they left their fish behind. I'll take that. I hope it isn't flea ridden. I'll take it with me. Oh, I hope this doesn't ruin my magnificent new sword. The brushwood looks very dry. I can't lower the drawbridge. The mechanism isn't working. The mechanism should operate the drawbridge. It isn't working. There's a cogwheel missing. Buck, what can I do for you? There's a cogwheel missing from the drawbridge mechanism. Yes, I've got it around here somewhere. 
But I can't search for it now. I'm in the middle of my meditation. Meditation of the snoring kind again? That's just your unskilled perception speaking. That will stop me burning my fingers. There's too much wind on the platform to use matches. I'll have to find some other way to light the fire. Now I can create spots by rubbing the rocks together. Wow, you lit the fire! I'm sure you could have done so if you tried. I'd do anything for a cooked meal. That didn't take long to cook. Here, would you like some cooked fish? You bet. You want this cogwheel too? I shouldn't touch it until I know what it does. It could be something lethal. Buck, what can I do for you? What's that strange device you have? That's where I press my nuts. Bottom. I use it to extract oil from nuts. I'll take it with me. I need something to collect the oil in. I'm pleased I only need a little. To fill the lamp would take all day.
or happen. You took a little nap. So why is my head bleeding? Now, that's just weird. Diego? Oh, I took a real whack to the back of my head. But I'll soon be fine. I've not seen it fly like that before. I wonder if it's the one Diego mentioned. It looks like the one described in the book. There's even a similar plant growing nearby. Where do you want to go? Diego? Yes. Are you feeling well, Diego? Of course I am. But it's the first time I've ever been knocked out. Anyone else would have split their skull in two. Oh, I took a real whack to the back of my head. But I'll soon be fine. I think I found that sleepy fly you told me about. Do you know how to lure it? I think those flies are attracted to blood. Oh, could you let me have that bandage you're using? Uh, I suppose. My head has stopped bleeding anyway. Where do you want to... I hope the blood on the bandage will attract the fly. Aha! No bites for more gain! Something's happening. I think the mechanism has jammed. How wonderful. And very mysterious. It seems like there's something carved here. But it's hard to make out with all this dust. there's about enough for one or two mouthfuls. Or in Diego's case, one little sip. There's a glass panel in the plinth. It fits perfectly, but I can't remove the glass with my bare hands. Senor Brisco? Hello, Morgane. We wondered what you were up to. I knew this place existed, but I've never been able to find my way inside. I was lucky. I had the key. There was a key? The broken stone disc. 
Ah, I hope you discovered something useful, did you? I found this in here. My goodness, what an absolutely splendid artifact. The turtle would suggest that there's a link to our quest. My thought exactly. I just wish Elizabeth was here to see it. But is something wrong? Seeing this rod has just triggered the memory of the day Dad left the island for good. He told me about this rod and said that if anyone found it, I was to give them some information. Does it have something to do with the golden turtle? Perhaps. He said you should go to Atabay Island and talk to a good friend of his. What's the friend's name? More to the point, where on earth is Atabay Island? Oh, I'm afraid I can't remember the friend's name. And I've never been away from this island. It would seem we've come up against a dead end. We don't know the name or location of Tanner's friend. Let's head back to the ship. Perhaps we'll find some inspiration there. I should go to my cabin and hope inspiration strikes me. What am I going to do? If I can't find out where Atabay Island is, I'll have failed to complete the quest. Father will think of me as an unworthy captain. Mama? I can't hear you, Mama. I must return to Bounty Island and resolve this once and for all. We must sail for Bounty Island immediately. What, now? I've just been given a sign. We must go back to our old house right now to resolve Father's issues before anything else. I'm supposed to wait for a sign before sailing to Bounty Island. Once there, I'll use the fly to put Papa to sleep. Where do you want... Let's say hello. I hope Papa forgives me. Thank goodness he's sleeping. For a moment I thought he wasn't breathing. Watch that fly! It'd be stupid if we all fell asleep. We should kill it. It took its own life rather than die at your hands. Must be my reputation. Diego, can you carry Papa to our old house? The captain is in a deep sleep. If this doesn't work, we'll probably be keelhauled. This place brings back memories of the good times we had here when you were young. The captain, Benita, you playing on the floor. Diego, I didn't realize you felt that way. <laughs> oh, uh, I'd I better get back to the ship. That woke you up? What? Where am I? You went against my specific instructions. I told you I never wanted to come here. How dare you do something like this to me? Just a minute. 
You wanted me to be the acting captain. What does that have to do with anything? Sometimes, being captain means taking charge of a situation and making unpopular decisions. You... Oh, Morgane! Alessandro... Bonita... Am I dreaming? Is this evil magic? My husband... You must let me go. I cannot rest until I'm certain you finish grieving for me. I miss you so much. I love you. Love me enough to let me go. The long wait is eating away at my spirit. There is a real danger I'll be trapped forever between the realms if we cannot resolve this. What must I do? Accept that I've gone and move on with your life. We have a beautiful daughter we can both be proud of. But I'll always love you. And I you. Our love will last for all eternity. But you must still let me go. for being so negative and holding you here. In future, I will celebrate your life and not dwell on what might have been. Thank you, Morgane. You are a wonderful daughter. And a magnificent woman. Thank you, Father. I'll give you some time alone here and meet you back at the ship. How will we ever continue with our quest? We don't know where we're to go next. I'll think of something. The island could be anywhere. The friend could be dead after all these years. What's going on here? It's a wonderful day, and you are sitting around like you've lost everything. The quest is ground to a halt. How can that be when I have the best crew in the world? We must work on the problem as a team. How will that help? All we know is that our next clue points to Atabe Island, but we don't know where it is. <laughs> Sometimes all you need to do is ask. Atabe Island is the true name, the name the locals use for Hollow Island. What? We'll set sail for there immediately. See, a perfect team. What more could a captain ask for? <laughs> 